Might as well just do uh This is about to be a jank ass podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hikey. The most scuffed podcast. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is such fucking deja vu, bro. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all happening again. Yeah, like this is such big deja vu. It happened season one, it happened season two, more or less. And then it was only that more, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't think uh, much player left ever left after the second preseason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened like then because we didn't have a server. 100 or something. I don't know. Uh, Nick, let me get a mic check real quick. Yeah, no, I'm good. I was just eating chips. I bet. Uh, we got a couple minutes. We're just kind of chilling right now. I put the announcement out, but we'll see. <laughs> Fucking Sashi. <laughs> Sell the game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, we'll uh we'll buy from you. I have a five dollar bid right now. Meerkat, don't wanna, don't wanna intimidate you with my big offer, but five dollars. Actually, no, I'll come up to six, six dollars for Royal Crown. One for each team member. Yeah. <laughs> six dollars total. That's the whole team right there. Mm -hmm. Six people. Oh, fucking. Pain, dude. Oh shit, Super's rocking the cap right now? Okay. Hey, you hmm. like my hat? Wait, what? You like my hat? I can't see your hat, bro. Yo, it's right here. Uh, Alright, alright, yeah, bud. I got this at Anime Expo, bro. Alright, bud. Cap. <laughs> no pun intended. Should buy it for yeah, the same amount that they put in the advertisement, work, yeah. so zero. So the, 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 they just should hand it out then. I'll toss in three fifty on it. Okay, so that's uh that's nine nine fifty total meerkat. That's that's a good deal. That's a good deal, baby. Nine dollars and fifty cents. Final offer. <laughs> oh, this is fucking pain, dude. Uh can't fucking see out of my goddamn glasses. Oh thank you, sweetie. Got some burrito action here. Water. Get back. Mm-hmm. Did you advertise? Official. Uh, no. Can you post something, please? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Oh God! Fucking what the hell? Cleaning your glasses is supposed to make it easier to see out of the lens, not worse. What? I don't 
understand. Good enough. Hmm. Nah, that's all good. I should have anticipated as much. I mean, grabbing it. Oh, no, I'm fine for right now. We all here? Yep. Okay, what is this, fifth? Yep. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome. I know this is a bit uh, a last minute notice, but uh, welcome to the official NA Royal Crown podcast. Uh, we've been naming this podcast uh, according to what Super says is this could very well be the last podcast, depending on what happens here in the near future. No pun intended to Super's name. Uh, on the panel, however, tonight we have, of course, Super Future. We have a range. We have Volpe. And then one of my personal homies, who is also a diehard Ragnarok fan, my boy Nick. How you guys doing tonight? All right, we're chilling. Done. Yeah, thanks for having me. Doing good, thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm tilted. Yeah, we're uh we're all pretty yeah, tilted. Well. I'm gonna cap. So tonight we're not gonna beat around the bush, right? Usually we try to be passive. We try to stay on the positive side of things. Woo woo woo. You know, not tonight. Tonight we address this head on, okay? For the sole purpose. That after this podcast, we will clip out the segment of us ripping into their ass and then post it daily in game discussion. Now, I'm looking at some of you people. I'm not going to say any names, okay? It does not mean spam, okay? We post it. We get hella reactions on it, and we leave it there. We just let it sit. Next day, boom. Do it again, okay? Now... I brought in Nick specifically. Now, he's uh, among many that have this particular work background, but he is very, very familiar with digital marketing, okay? And he also does not play Royal Crown, so this would make a very good point of view from someone that is looking from the outside but understands how business works and why what we're going to discuss makes sense. And why it needs to happen. So, obviously, many of us here know what I'm talking about. The lack of marketing for this project is killing this game at an astronomical rate. At first, it was it was cute. Then it was annoying. Now it's ridiculous. Something needs to be done immediately. I don't know who the fuck is calling the shots. But this is getting out of hand. NA and EU specifically are hurting right now. People do not want to play three-man lobbies. Okay? Now, we'll continue to, to, to talk about what's wrong, but let's just step back and really discuss why what is going on right now is unacceptable given the fact that this is a post-launch for a game. Super, let's start off with you, and then we'll give it to the rest of the panel. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm just reading Korean forums right now. Can you can you, I can I go last? You want to compile them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's fine. Volpe, I'm curious to hear what's going on with EU right now. Now, I assume it's something very similar to NA. Yeah, it has really small lobbies, and pretty much constantly throughout the day. You can by now you can pretty much ignore squads and duos. If there is a game, it's maybe one game a day, and then 
half of the people leave and then well you wait another 30 to 40 hours or minutes wow. hours. <laughs> well it feels like hours <laughs> right right and that's honestly to be expected like i said what we already have been seeing is people have essentially been refusing to play unless you're sync queuing with you know someone from eu eu's discord or our discord or one of our Royals League events. Other than that, no one's playing the game. Myself included, because I don't want to waste my time. I'm a content creator. I need content. Three-man lobbies is not content. I'm sorry. It's not. Arrange. I know you got a lot on your mind. What do you feel about what's going on right now? I just don't understand. Like, it's actually, like, mind-boggling to me how this company just refuses to advertise the game. Yeah, like my friends, my friends over here are putting like monies out of their pocket, time out of their day to do everything they can to build this game up, mm -hmm. and they're doing nothing about it. Every like almost all of the players in the NA community are from us. We like either told our friend, mm -hmm. or like people streamed and other people asked what this game was. Yeah, like they did nothing to get these players. It's all us. Ever since preseason zero, I've never seen them put any effort in to get any players in this game at all. It, just, it doesn't make any sense. I definitely... It's like they want gonna, the game to die. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Um, If you didn't notice, when we... And by we, I mean our community... uh, Started to play again. They waited like four or five days. And then they just turned our server back on. Right? Like, we really didn't have to ask that much. For them to realize that, oh, these dudes are back. And then we got our server mm -hmm. back. And then we just essentially just started grinding. Bringing back Royals League. Getting everything situated. Started running events. Started a podcast back up. Bada bing, bada boom. Definitely, the vast majority was us. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you there. Now, Nick, I want to ask you, from a third-party perspective, what your thoughts on what information you have right now on, on the situation for, for Royal Crown? I mean, I obviously support your stream, and I sit in supers yeah. for, like, the past, like, half a year. So, like, I, I understand, like the situation with royal crown what happened before with you guys and and basically what has happened in the past like what month and a half now mm -hmm. and i mean completely honest it's like um you know when when a company either doesn't market then the only other obligation they have is to set up like uh, dev posts or transparency posts to let you know what's happening mm -hmm. if, normally if a company doesn't do that they don't set a plan you know set up marketing phases not even marketing just you know you know uh phase one phase two stuff like that yeah it leaves any community whether it's a video game community or not um uh you know they they have no idea what's going on it doesn't feel like they care mm -hmm. people get spiteful and they leave and it's really hard to retain or bring back people that way so yeah i mean for me it kind of just feels like na and eu is like the redheaded stepchild to them they're just yeah. like, well, we sort of provide, and then they kind of turn the cheek, and then when things get kind of harsh, they'll respond. It's but it's probably not the best response. That's kind yeah. of like what I see from you guys. Mm -hmm. I think what's most frustrating is actually watching you guys try, mm -hmm. and even even help them, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they don't really. It doesn't really seem like there's anything there. I mean, I don't think it. I well, I know actually, it doesn't cost that much money to find other streamers because i know obviously you guys stream or tell your personal friends about royal crown mm -hmm. but even just you know a quick sponsored stream for someone else that plays like-minded games yeah just to show their community what's going mm -hmm. on and, and stuff like that i mean there's so many small and less mitigating cost um avenues of yeah. a company that uh can do mm -hmm. uh than to set up like a massive youtube campaign or like even fight over facebook ad placements and stuff like that because those are simple but obviously sometimes you have to beat out with uh you know seo and yeah. stuff like that but i mean it's not hard to at least even show that you're trying and mm -hmm. from what i've gathered from the last podcast i tuned into you mm -hmm. guys and even just watching you guys the past week it just doesn't really feel like anything's happening on there. yeah and i i kind of want to backpack off of uh, two points that you made one of which uh, was what was going on with NA and EU feeling like the red stepchild. And the other one was, you know, the whole Facebook ad thing going on. So I'm going to touch on the Facebook ad, and then we'll go back to that, which uh, will segue to you, Super, so you can include 
you know, w the Korea stuff that you're going to bring in. So with the Facebook stuff, yes, I know for a fact, you know for a fact, everyone here knows for a fact, it does not cost that much money to run a Facebook ad weekly. It's like 12 US dollars to reach like two to 3,000 people that have similar interest in whatever that game may be. Secondly, every single line games project that they are involved with, including the one that just dropped on the 25th of last month, has a full blown marketing campaign. Some of these games are not even out yet, and they still have marketing. Royal Crown is the only game of line games that has zero social media presence and zero marketing. This is unacceptable. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. You expect us to believe that whatever developing company they're doing for the game, like, oh yeah, this is going to help. No, it nothing nothing is helping. I, I get that you wanted to bring in a sponsorship for, you know, content creators. I obviously am a content creator. Yes, cool. That's That's amazing. Except... This method is an in, uh, uh, inadvertent marketing tech tactic, when in reality, you should be doing the basic marketing tactic. This shit comes after. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not even getting compensated, really. Like, they're just giving us free shit in-game. And they're using content creators as a way to advertise their game, just like what we've seen with the, with the Korean guy that they've been promoting. That's called an advertisement, what they're doing in the Discord. They could be doing that shit elsewhere, but they're not. And it's absolutely ridiculous. So, Super, yes, I want to bring you in on the current topic and then segue over to the Korean stuff. Yeah. Um, with Nacon, they've actually tried um, advertising with YouTubers, content creators, and stuff like that. But not it, not with NA or EU content creators. They were doing it with like people from Southeast Asia, uh, from, from Korea, but not NA or EU. And it did very well for... Um, SEA and EA they got their influx of players right but right now yes they're not doing any advertising and I've been doing a lot of lurking in the Korean forums it's doing mm -hmm. Google Translate right yeah and uh, they're in an even more rough spot right if I was saying I was saying earlier in discord that you know even if we did get advertising there's a lot of underlying issues that the game has and i don't think that's i don't I, that the reason why they're not advertising i personally think is because they are not ready like they launched the game and it wasn't even ready right they launched the game and they're like oh we're shutting this part of mobile down when koreans that's like 50 percent of their player base right and it goes to show even in the forums people are saying they, even, even Koreans, they don't even have advertising either, by the way. I'm just letting you know that. They, they don't have like traditional advertising. They do have their content creators and stuff like that. But uh, they're bleeding as well. But the lag is the one the thing that's killing them. The lag. And yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It also goes to show what they're focused on come April 21st when the new season starts. They're focused on optimization for mobile, right? And other things it says. Uh, they're gonna, it's, it's, it's very vague, but they say they're prioritizing lag and, and such like, and such. Um, what else are they prioritizing? Yeah, there's three stages. There's three stages to it. And that's what they're currently working on. The good, the, on the bright side though, they have been doing updates weekly, not bi-weekly. How they're doing you know, in preseason and whatnot. They're in, updating weekly. That may be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on if, you're, if you've ever worked in tech. Uh, doing weekly sprints, stuff like that. Rushing things could be kind of bad, but they're bleeding, so that's why I think they are... Uh, are, are making these weekly updates um, showing people they are doing something but again still not enough we would like really we would like more transparency and uh, it seems that Koreans not are, aren't, aren't getting it as well right they're they're just as upset in in the forums so that that's honestly surprising mm -hmm. to me go on the ranch yeah I want to touch up on this mm -hmm. so 
back in preseason zero, you know, everything everything was cool, right? We had a lot, of, we had a decent amount of players. We we're playing squads every day, you know, everything was going well. Mm -hmm. And it actually, it actually felt like they were actually communicating with us and listening to our feedback. We even got CM Cork in our Discord. I don't so think he works with them anymore. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna get that, but okay. It just doesn't make sense because just one day, all, all of a sudden, they just decide not to listen to the community anymore. And they completely mm -hmm. changed the way you play the game. They took out crafting. They made almost all of NA leave. It felt mm -hmm. horrible. And I think these massive changes is what's killing the game. Because I, I don't think that this craft, the new crafting system was even tested before they released it. And during that whole preseason, they were saying how they want to test things, get things out, you know, try to fix the game before release to advertise. They mm -hmm. said they were holding back on advertisement until official launch come to official launch game's still not ready they're still in like basically um what do you call those early access mode yeah like it just doesn't make sense the, the game's not ready at all i what can do that whole time i can almost guarantee that the reason why they went to launch was to get line games off of their back chances are they were given a timeline to have a quote-unquote finished product and they were bottlenecked into launching because that was part of their contract agreement even though in reality mm, but, they didn't have a finished project but they were super transparent like cm cork and all the cms were always responding to people now they don't yeah i haven't seen cm thinking. cork respond the only all. person that you can talk to right now is the meerkat dev thing ask questions or whatever and he doesn't even tell you anything about the marketing yeah they used to say none oh, of the cms well we'll we'll like advertise after we improve our game they don't even tell us that so how do we know what they're thinking yeah i agree I definitely agree. Uh, Volpe, Nick, any uh, inputs here? I mean, it just sounds like, uh, I don't know. It just sounds like even the people that work there don't really understand what their, like the Fine. makeup of their, even their company. I'm not even saying like the game, <laughs> you know, it doesn't sound like they know who to like talk to or, or have their own branch of people to handle certain cases and stuff like that if, mm -hmm. if you get what i'm trying to say it's like they it, they seem lost in their own world and they have no idea they had to, how to uh handle all these buyers so yeah there's uh in it uh 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 a meme with uh the the copy paste responses that uh dev meerkat has essentially been giving us you know thank you for your feedback i'll send it to the game team or whatever the fuck it is and he had uh or they had responded to something that I had posted. I think it might have been the uh, the advertisement, you know, spiel. And they essentially were like, oh, well, this makes sense, but we don't know anything about marketing, so we'll just send your feedback up. And then that's when I was like, okay, well, then how do we get in contact with the marketing team? And that's when Meerkat was like, oh, well, that's, that's the CMs. You're going to have to message them. So the entire time that we've been posting, it's not like the CMs don't see us fucking talking about marketing and to them specifically. I don't understand why they haven't brought someone, whether this someone is just Jordan or someone else, into the Discord to read this fucking shit that we are saying. Because then they could directly respond to us. And even if it's not like a specific timeline for, oh yeah, we plan to do it, you know, this time or this month. At least I could be like, all right, well, this is what it is. This is where we're at. This is why we haven't done it. Ooh. There's zero communication, zero transparency. And it is it is getting absolutely out of control. And we can't save this game just just with us. Like, we can save Royals League, right? That that shit, we, we own that, right? We can apply that to whatever the fuck we want. If we, we will continue to do events and whatnot, you know, to keep the community happy. But in terms of, like, on a day-to-day... -day, it's it's impossible for us to carry this entire game if you know the main region where this company resides is also bleeding what like we're fucking we're just random ass dudes in a different region chilling playing the same game and you got koreans over there crying in the exact same way that we're crying and they aren't even listening to them so what the fuck does that make us right like we're we're, we're chump change to them and i don't like it We've been putting in a lot of fucking work. This is the second time this shit has happened. This is the second time that we have gotten to this point to where I have to be on a podcast saying this could potentially be the last podcast because the game is fucking dying. I cannot believe the game is dying again for a second time. 
when we're literally communicating exactly what the problem is. Yeah, I don't this care game if is this unplayable. is three man lobbies it, it, are literally it is. unplayable. It is. No one's gonna yeah. play a three man lobby. And you lose more LP in a three man lobby than you do if you win it. Exactly. If you lose, you lose like twenty points. If you win, one LP. No it one's going to play that. It does not make any sense whatsoever. And I mean, there are going to be some people that run it, you know, just to just to fucking play it. But the vast majority of us who are competitive players don't want to be in an environment like that, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing, but you need to do something quick because you have competitors in the exact same field as your game doing everything you're not doing appropriate. Like everything, marketing, social media presence, a full fucking English team to respond to fucking people in other regions outside of wherever the fuck you're based at, right? You aren't doing any of this shit. I'm going to name drop them. Eternal Return is fucking you in the ass with no lube right now. That's just me being real. This game will die a second time. I fucking promise you. Look at look at the Steam charts back when fucking preseason, that, that bullshit where they changed the fucking uh, crafting system. There was literally like... 10 to 15 people playing the entire game when everyone was like yeah no fuck this shit and then what did you guys do you decided all right let's go ahead and copy this company because they actually got something right when in reality you could have just kept the same shit that you had if you just fucking advertised the game everything would have been fine and we're literally trying to communicate this with you and you're like oh well, we don't know what the fuck is happening we, we, we need to fix the servers fix the fucking marketing then fix everything else you need people to play your game I, I yes, I, I I agree. The servers are shit. I shouldn't be lagging when I'm in the region where the server's supposed to be located. But if 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 there's no one to fucking play with, I'm not gonna get on the game to experience the bad lag, right? Like the, the biggest problem for this game is play your base. Period. Next biggest problem, communication. Y'all don't communicate for shit. You you respond with copy paste shit and it's getting annoying, right? Like, we're all adults here. Most of us are adults. Most of us understand how business works. Most of us understand to a d d fucking intimate level how marketing works. So you can't sit there and sauce this up with some shit like, oh, well, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna not. Nah, I see what you're doing. You can't sidestep this shit. It's simple. It's literally business 101. You, how the fuck are you gonna have a business or a product and not promote your product? What do you just expect people to just be like, oh, I'm intuitively going to know exactly what I want to fucking play. Fucking Royal Crown. That's that's I know. But no, that's not how fucking it works, bro. Look at any business anywhere. They run advertisements. You've literally ran advertisements for every single one of your other games, except for this one. What is going on? Explain. Someone else take the floor before I have an aneurysm. Yeah, alone by the uh, CMs, you can clearly see that uh, the company is in utter chaos. Since, uh, well, the CM isn't basically meant to be the ambassador between the players and the company, but they ha ca can only say what the company gives them. And mm -hmm. the reason they don't uh, reply is because there's obviously nothing given to them. Mm -hmm. If they would give their own opinion, they probably would get fired or get sanctioned by any way since that would kill their reputation or whatever. Yep. Essentially, they are on a big leash, and that leash is apparently so loose that they can't give anything other than maybe some patch notes once in a while. You know what this feels like? You guys remember when, uh, or like, this is for some of some of us old cats. Uh, some, some of you youngsters may not know what the fuck I'm about to talk about. You guys remember game battles? Remember when game battles was a thing? Remember how chaotic game battles were when it first started to become a thing? Or like money matches on the internet? And shit was just, everything was wrong. Everything was wrong. Everything, like the fucking website didn't work. Fucking, it was impossible to get fucking money transfer. Like it was a fucking disaster. Uh, has the, more uh, but see, here's the thing. Like the, the, the reason why I'm bringing that up is game battles, their biggest issue was they didn't promote the fucking shit and the people that did know about it word to mouth advertisement was fucking it up because it was just bad feedback right they didn't do anything to like assist the community and after they got involved and was like okay this is how it's supposed to be done this is what we're doing and then all of a sudden people were like oh oh okay sure 
you need to communicate with the fucking people, bro. It you can't not do that. I understand, you know, much like you said, Volpe, if they're on like a a, a, a a leash and they can only say so much, there are still things that you can say. You can use general terms yeah. without breaching agreement. Why? Because I am under an NDA right now working for fucking Microsoft and I can explain exactly what I do at work without giving away key details that would breach that NDA. I know how this shit works too. So they can't hide behind that, bro. Most Again, most of us here are adults. We know this fucking shit, bro. We've seen it. We've seen games come. We've seen games die. It's not that hard to do. You literally just fucking pick one game that failed. We'll just pull one out of the fucking air. Battle right Royale. Look at everything that they fucking did and just don't do the same thing. And miraculously, you'll have a successful game. I promise you. Battle right did the same thing. They waited to fucking advertise. And then by the time they decided, okay, yeah, let's do it. Everyone already fucking didn't want to play it. Because the next shit then already came out, right? So, I, I I don't know what the fuck can be done, honestly. Like, this is, this is getting exhausting, right? I can, only, I can only say so much positive shit and look on the bright side when they're showing us their ass, essentially. You know, I still, I'm, I'm dumbfounded, bro. I'm dumbfounded. Like, you literally... Every single project. Nick, talk to me on this real quick. You have, you are a publishing company. You have eight games that you're publishing. One of which is your own developing team. Seven out of eight have a full marketing campaign. Three of which are not even released. Why is the, why is the, the, the one out of eight not marketed? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just sounds like they're, at some point hemorrhaging resources and money, you know, or, or at another point, like if you were an invest, say like you were an investor, you, you would clearly see that. I don't even know if saying I don't care that they don't care about Royal Crown, which is a little bit obvious, but it's almost as if they're just milking it until it's gone. I mean, if, if that was the situation, there's eight projects going and one literally wasn't getting touched, but the other ones were, uh, you know, being fed all the resources. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. You have the you're trying to get whatever you can until uh, the well runs dry out of that one resource. Super, you look like you got something to say. No, I disagree with everybody. I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah. No, I I fucking feel you. I'm just I'm just tired. I, I want to play. I want to play RC. No. I do. I, I want to play well. RC. Uh, Nick, you're you're making a lot of sense. I got I got the news. Yeah, I saw you you pulled it in three, right? Three three boxes for the Violet skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna say. I I got the new Violet skin. I really wanna fucking play it, right? So mm -hmm. I, I go queue up I go queue up yesterday. I queue up like three different games. Yeah. Alta Ford all of them. It's literally two other players. I don't wanna play that. I don't wanna play that. I refuse to. It's just not fun. Nick made a very good point. This this could be milk strategy. We've seen it before. I, I hope it's not, because this game could have been, could have been very very big, but, you know, other games. I'll use DFO as an example for any of you the other people that are familiar with what DFO is. Dungeon Fighter Online. Nexon used to own that. Nexon ran it into the ground. It was a phenomenal game, and then they just dropped it, and then Neo people took. Uh, picked it up and then it's been fine because they actually are doing what you should have been doing with that game and i think we might be in a similar situation here they just don't know what they have and it needs to die for someone else to pick it up and i swear to man like if i was still about that life and i still had money like that i would 100 percent put up an offer for this shit and do this shit the right way but someone else will likely need to pick this game up to not have this shit if they refuse to do something within the next few weeks right because after this this uh, this uh, Royals League squads, which again is next week, if you don't have your team signed up, exclamation point Royals in the chat, get your team signed up, get it in now. You know, there will be a cash pot for that as well. I'm going to try to come out of pocket for that, but we'll probably just take donations um, uh, from the community if uh, you guys want to have more than just diamonds uh, for a pot. Because uh, I, I get a lot of bills I got to pay for on this next check, so I got to make sure my shit's right. Um, but... Yeah, you know, after, you know, the squad stuff, you know, we'll probably still do some tournaments. 
but this was why we kept reiterating to people that you know if this game should die what we're doing with royals league uh what we're doing with royals league can be applied to anything that we want right and super myself arrange all the mods we've already been on the lookout for you know some some other shit you know what i'm saying like you'll see super and myself on super mecha champions i mean we probably won't be making you know world's league type shit with that but you know what i'm saying like we we are we are looking for that that that, that next sauce so stay tuned we don't know what it, that might be again there's a lot of games that are supposed to drop this year so it could just be something that happens you know months from now and then we just keep the tournaments going with rc and then just kind of try to stay together as a as a community because we got we got a dope ass community here bro like the the amount of people that we have is astounding right well, no, will people last enough. for another week that's will a good question chat talk to me yeah well will, will you guys be able to last until april 21st april 21st is actually when or april 20th actually for us is when the season two starts like yeah. like are you going to wait for the kind of changes they're going to make? I don't see I don't think we'll see advertising in season 2 unless the game gets fixed. Right? And they need to, they need to do like extensive testing and they don't even have players to test with. Yeah. <laughs> right like, that's now. What I, that's what I'm confused about. Like other than than the Asia servers, they're not getting feedback from us, bro. In terms of like really like how it would feel you know, to have a full fucking lobby. We only get that feedback in our custom games, bro. Our events. If it, like, I I don't, like, this is, this is gonna give me an aneurysm. Like, every time that I think about it, it's like, but why? Every, like, no, no marketing, but why? No communication, but why? Well, people, transfer. people are gonna wait. People are gonna wait. It seems like the, you know, people are gonna wait. People Eden, that's a good game. point. I'm more about the community rather than the game. That's what we're trying to build here, right? We're trying to we're trying to create something very close to uh, an org, right? This is going to be a tight knit community, and this again can be applied to whatever the fuck we want. And like I said, we really want people that are down to be involved because on the off chance, you know, the moment I get the opportunity, Super and I, you know, if we can get we can get the money right. To, you know, this we could be the next TSM type shit. You never fucking know. You think we won't fucking do some shit like that? We will. 100%. I promise you. But Yo, man, I, I'm so upset. Can I say something? Yeah. According to the exalted one on mm -hmm. Royal Count Official, this mm -hmm. game needs and deserves a stronger fan base. So I, I just think maybe it's our fault. Maybe we're just not strong enough, you know? Not putting that's, in enough work. That's cap. According to this guy, <laughs> that's cat. I he's new. He he doesn't know. I mean, he's not he's not wrong, right? Like a community is is important for a successful game, but it's not the first part of the success, right? The main problem is that this doesn't work. Since I yeah. could get get like ten people into the game. Mm -hmm. and those 10 people would leave within a week since they see, oh, we have three players in a game. Well, well, that sure is fun. Mm -hmm. And then they leave. And then they already tried the game, so I can't get them back if, even if the game gets uh, more popular. Yeah, so the, the they lack. They need advertising to start the fire, more or less. Mm -hmm. And they don't do that. And if they don't do that by season two, maybe halfway season two then i definitely gonna quit and that's tough to hear because volpe's down you know what i'm maybe saying there's custom games but that's it yeah like that's that's that was my fear like people just don't want to play outside of one of our events like you know at any point even if you know the game is deader than dead and they close our server again if we're like okay yeah we're doing custom games a lot of people would show up still because they're like oh hell yeah right but there's a lot of people already that are not playing, like, at all. I'm on that list. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because, again, I'm a content creator, bro. What the fuck am I going to create getting on with two people in a lobby? Right? Yeah. It makes more sense for me to do something else and then just wait for an event. 
I'm not gonna, you know, hurt my brand just because they don't want to get their shit together. But like, that, I'm sorry, that's it's not gonna happen. But speaking speaking of content creators, yeah, can they even afford to have this many sponsors and give out this many diamonds for the tournaments? I feel well, like see, here's the thing: like, they're, like they're it doesn't just... cost them anything to create an in-game currency. That's why they're doing it that way. There's a reason why. Mm the sponsorships weren't involved in any kind of currencies because in order to do that you need a contract tied to it and they didn't have a sign anything so because they are giving us things voluntarily in game which they could literally press a button and then generate however many fucking diamonds they want because they own the game that's why they went that route right yeah but that also means people aren't going to spend money i mean and on top on top of that like I feel like they, they just sponsored anybody. It yeah. It's so random. Yeah, no, that's, that's they again, do. this was why I had such a big issue with that tactic is because what they were trying to do is they were trying to market through content creators whilst baiting people with a sponsorship, quote unquote. Now, again, if you got the sponsorship, I'm not trying to knock you. This is not, this is not a you thing. This is them as the company. What they were trying to do was trying to save money by taking advantage of other people's networks and getting people to play the game. Mm -hmm. When they could have put the exact same amount of effort running one Facebook ad and got 10 times the amount of people that actually joined the game because of these sponsors, us included. I don't have 3,000 people in my fucking stream every day. You know who does have 3,000 people on all the time? Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, Instagram. Twitter, Instagram. I'm, j I'm just a guy on the side. Apparently, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Since you want to talk numbers, th that would have taken them 15 minutes. It took Super, myself, and Z 15 minutes to create that Facebook page and make it look how it looks. Ready to be, you know, have an ad run on it. They have zero social media presence. None. This is the first time I've ever seen this in like a decade. A company that has this much or this many projects and having a a, a a product within those projects not have any social media presence at all the facebook was a patch dump their twitter didn't fucking exist they don't have an instagram their youtube you might as well say it doesn't fuck it's not there i've seen 13 year olds posting fucking 360 no scope fucking call of duty clips have more of a presence on youtube than royal crown right now it's pathetic it's and absolutely it's pathetic like, it's not like they don't have the money Mm -hmm. Owned by Lion, and that's a five billion dollar company. So, yeah, yeah money, money, money ain't the problem. Somebody is doing something, and I don't like this person. You feel me? I understand how these contracts work in terms of publishing. Actually, Iskamar, are you busy? I, I want you in here, because Iskamar has his own project with with Chris. He has inside information about these fucking deals precisely. Iskamar. Get get in here. I, I, I want your feedback on this specifically because you know I know about this shit. But I want people to hear this shit firsthand what goes into these types of deals. Okay? It's time for some Izzy Tilt. Let me get you in this call. Are, are we... Are we... Uh, are we friends on uh, Discord? I think, I, think we, I think we are, right? Let me see. No, except except my uh, my friend request is he, and then I'll I'll bring you in the call. <laughs> I don't I look before you come in here. I don't want you holding back shit. I want you, I want you popping the fuck off, cause they they need to hear this shit. I'm telling you. Here we go, here we go. Bada bing, bring him in here. Get him in here. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Izzy has to say. Izzy's funny as fuck when he's mad. My dude, passionate yeah, about, I don't about the same. I don't want to play League, bro. I don't want to play League anymore. Yeah, you don't. I want to play Royal Crown. Izzy, hello? Oh, uh, wait. Uh, say something. I had a mic check you real quick. Yo, yo. Uh, can you, like, shove your mic down your throat real quick? Uh, let me see. I can turn my shit up. Yeah, yeah, please oh, no, do. No, no, no. You're good, you're good, you're good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, you're good now. Okay, so talk to me. What goes into these fucking deals? Because you have 
inside information on this shit <laughs> of trying to find a publisher and what goes into like what the trade-off is okay talk to me i mean it all depends it, it varies company to company generalize it generalize it what what like what things can you expect in parts of these deals like what's the main things that are discussed obviously money is at the top of the list then go on from there money but also when when you're getting to market and how you're getting to market timelines timelines are important and to be honest i honestly just think they're cutting their losses right now i agree i agree that's why i don't i don't think i don't think you're gonna see um any big advertising i think that was their like that was their final push the mm -hmm. one they did, and i don't really think you're gonna see another one i i can definitely see that um but to backpack off of what you were saying timelines I, I i know for a fact that was a conversation before line games picked up this project but we have not seen a timeline in any capacity you want to know the closest thing that we've had to a timeline they're two apology letters and that's <laughs> pathetic yeah what's up with that honestly i i don't know like i can't really speak too much on line games because i haven't seen like how the uh line games is how fine. they handle, it's how handle their other games so like i don't know what the deal is like with this uh dev studio uh mm -hmm. is is meerkat like internal or is it, are, they, are they like meerkat is a third party developing company they have i think eight other or seven other projects or something like that each have a different developing company except for one of them which is their own developing company right like line games themselves are developing that game every single project that they are publishing has marketing to some degree most recent guardian chronicles it dropped the 25th of last month i opened my facebook and i actually meme screenshotted this game posted it in game discussion and basically was like oh this could be us when I was completely memeing because that just so happened to be the first game that popped up in my fucking feed. Come to find out 10 hours later, that's an actual line games like project. And I was like, oh my fucking Jesus, are you kidding me? When did this drop? The 25th of March. I almost lost my shit. I had to take a walk. I was there. I can, I can, uh, I get that. He did almost lose his shit. I was, I was so mad. I was absolutely so mad. There, I cannot think of anything, Izzy. Nothing that would equal not marketing this game even if it's unfinished and the fucking product is not fucking completed whatever just fucking market that shit and fix that shit later you need player base right now and again much like you said timelines are a very big part of these deals they probably went live because of what they told line games oh yeah we'll have something by this time right they weren't anticipating the game to die right beforehand but they needed to have something, otherwise their funds were gonna get cut. Most likely, that's what it looks like to me. The problem with advertising is is kind of what Super was touching on earlier. Yeah, is that right now with the way the game is like, so so they 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 made a big advertising push in Asia mm -hmm. and, and um, for for the Korean servers. But look, they're already hemorrhaging all those players. They are they didn't return to anything. Like I mean, they didn't they didn't retain much. Like their churn is crazy because there's a lot of problems with the game. So mm -hmm. the game's just it, it, it's just in a rough spot right now. Um, my my biggest problem since playing the game as a player, I'm speaking purely as a player here. Yeah. Um, since I've since I've been playing it, is it, it it's like it didn't doesn't know. It didn't know what it wanted to be. Like there's just yeah. all these massive reworks, mm -hmm. and like you, it's you can't have that. Like you can't have all these crazy reworks going on. Like full identity changes. Like, oh, you know what? We don't like. We're just gonna shift fully towards mobile, and we're gonna have like eight minute matches. Yeah. Um. Just, just, just uh, <laughs> all, all the player base we built up. All the player base we built up. You know what? Uh, they, they just forget them. We're gonna we're gonna shift towards mobile fully, mm -hmm. and if that didn't work, oh, um, what's what's Eternal Return doing? Let's just um, let's just uh, yoink their crafting system and 
and, and their teleporting system. Just just everything. Let's just just copy paste that into Royal Crown. Yep. Yep. I agree. Exactly they 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 lost their identity with their first big change and they've been struggling ever since. Now, I do know again because I said that they put out apology letters. They were cognizant at the fact that they fucked up. But why they didn't go backwards and just do the shit that was working? Like, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. We didn't have a problem with the crafting system before. It just needed a little bit of work. Maybe some slight, you know, number changes. Maybe, you know, tweak this a little bit, tweak that a little bit. Not break the fucking game overnight and then instead of fixing what you broke, break it even more by changing the zones into an eight-minute match. Like, that that was like a, a double tap to the chest. Like, boom, crafting's gone. Boom, I don't get to play the game for longer than 10 minutes. All right, I'm out. That's literally what happened. So yes. you're, you're, you're absolutely right. It, it does feel like they are struggling with what they want to be, and it's it hurts so much because this is exactly what happened to Tria Savior and other similar games to where, like, it, it had so much fucking potential, but they were just missing the fucking mark, and I don't know how they managed to do it. Because you have a devoted community telling you what the fuck is going on, and you, you don't want to, you don't want to even say anything to them about it. You don't want to address anything. I like, I don't want it to literally be on the verge of dying before they address what we're talking about, like as you know, as a whole. Well, you know what they need to do. Yeah, they need to take the game down. Okay. Analyze all of the data from everything, every change that they've done. Okay. And just take the time to fix the game and re-release it. So like a fresh reboot yeah like, like i wouldn't, a, a, I wouldn't a, a, care like it, a royal the crown game is not like it feels like they just can't stop right yeah like, they keep making these changes but they keep pushing pushing the game forward mm -hmm. like, when it shouldn't be pushed forward it should be stuck in place and they should fix it okay they're gonna they're gonna call season one pre-season seven soon yeah. <laughs> like high key yeah. do you see the names do you see the names of these seasons like pre-season zero pre-season one pre-season two season one like what it doesn't make any sense yeah, I'm I'm honestly confused. Nick, let me talk to you really quick. When you first saw this game, because I know that, you know, you've I've known you for a while now and you kind of were around uh when I was playing this a lot back when I was in Michigan. And you saw it die the first time. What do you feel as though would have been the right thing to do from a third-party perspective just looking in at the business as a whole? Well, I mean, I, I really got there like at the end of it all. So I, I guess I don't right. necessarily know either the problems or anything like that. Like, I don't know if it was like player base or yeah. so, or anything like that. But I know as someone who knew nothing about the game when I yeah. came in, there was definitely like a lot of information like most of these games have. Mm -hmm. And I think I think like the um, – there wasn't like – I think there's more information now, at least like clicking on champions than there was before. Like okay. it, there was just like a lot of like, well, what's this do and what's this do, and then you have someone who's been playing the game just come and just like clap you, <laughs> you yeah, know, much. or something like that, and uh, which was fine because that's a that's a typical experience, you know, when you try a new game. So that's not mm -hmm. something that like deters necessarily me, mm -hmm. but it definitely didn't feel like it was ready for like a release. If that that's basically my main takeaway. It was like mm -hmm. I was trying to understand the crafting. I was trying to understand when to like whatever jungle, whatever you want to call it, like kill the mobs. Trying to figure out, you know, champions. And then it's just like there's just not enough easy information to find and everything feels just a little like off. And it just felt like it needed polish. And then basically at that time, um it just got shut down. Like you guys lost your server and I just kinda threw it to the wind. Yep. That's exactly uh, what I was going to hint at is ever since then, I feel like these motherfuckers have been on a bouncing board. Honestly, it, it, it feels like they're just kind of winging it right now. Like there there's there's no longer a timeline. There's no longer a to do list like they're kind of just pulling shit out of their ass and hoping that it works. Yeah, there's just a paddle ball right now and that string's about to break. Yep. Super, you got something? No. <laughs> I'm enjoying the conversation. Does, does the chat have anything you guys want to talk yeah, about? Like, please. like, like, there's, there's. I don't know. I don't know what else is there to talk about. Like, there, there are positives. That they are trying to do some things, but they're doing the wrong things, right? 
I'm just the wrong things. Yeah. I definitely agree. Wait, hold on. So I mean, Trio Savior is dead, but still has more players than I see. True, but that, I, they've done multiple revamps to keep that player base. I just mean in terms of uh, comparison of what a uh, successful uh, a Ragnarok sequel would have been without it actually being Ragnarok. That could have been that game, but missed the mark entirely. Yeah, I bet. I bet Grand Chase Madness has more players. You probably wouldn't be wrong. Grand Chase <laughs> Fire. Splash explosion! Those fucking voice actors, dude. Fucking pain, but amazing at the same time. Keep having fun with other stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and tell you guys, just fucking play the game, bitch. Fucking suck it up. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Like, if you don't want to play, I completely understand why. Right? Super and I, like, we're we're doing other stuff. Yes, we still have Royals League shit. We're still gonna do that. But you know, it's it's kind of at a at, at a at ends meet, yeah. right? They're just rushing. They're just rushing things now. Like Sue, like the new champions people are talking about that were released, right? Sue was kind of trash. Um, <laughs> Kara, even more trash. So I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this this new champ at all. Yeah, I like it's gonna matter. I, I like the trash champions. I don't want no more Corks, bro. I want less than a hundred ping when I live in the yeah. fucking region that I'm supposed to be playing in. It yeah. Doesn't make any sense. People, people. That's all we need. People and service stability. That's it. That's it. You know, you can work on the other shit after. Mm-hmm. Right? So. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, you know, season two, April 21st, that's when it comes out, or 20th for us, uh, after the patch. That's when we'll see. I don't, yeah. I don't even think server stability and, and uh, advertising would, would, would do much, to be honest. At because this point. I feel, I feel like at this point. At this you have point, to relaunch the game. Yeah. At this stage, um, when new players coming new players coming in or is looking at the game, uh, when, when you see the crafting system and, and and how the game flows, it's it's almost like the the poor man's eternal return to a lot of people. Now, yeah. I, yeah, I, I personally <laughs> I personally enjoy the combat more in RC. I I like RC better. I couldn't get into Eternal Return, but when RC made the decision to just take their system and, and like ham fist it into the game there it's like are they expecting that they're going to be able to beat eternal return at what they do yeah when like their game's the... not built from the ground up to facilitate that sort of crafting system i just don't understand that decision i can understand looking at eternal return for some inspiration like yeah. oh hey they do this that and they do this that and uh whatever with their crafting system let's let's try to uh Let's try to incorporate some of those principles, yeah. But not just like copy paste the whole system. Kind of, kind of like uh, like Fortnite uh, and uh, Apex, because Apex had the the respawn beacons, and then Fortnite was like, hmm, let's uh, let's do that. But they still, it, it still was Fortnite after, right? Like they didn't. All right, you no longer can build. Yeah, it's fucking, it's Apex now. Like no, that's you should not be jumping in someone else's playing field. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. But yep. I, I definitely agree with you. They 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 should have drew a line as to what it what it was they were essentially copying, and I I think someone was on fire in the office, pouring kerosene on himself and was like, I'm gonna jump out of this window if we don't do something fast. And then they were like, Okay, wait, look, we just put the <laughs> eternal return me. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that I one. Mean. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine if, if uh, just you had the old system and you just got like chess only gave you green gear, so like chess you couldn't just random, random an epic, random a blue chess only dropped a green armor, and then you could disenchant your armors to build what you wanted. Like you could disenchant them to uh, then craft. The, if you're not getting the piece you want after you get enough uh, crappy greens that you don't want, you can disenchant enough that you can craft the piece you want. Like and then. And then on top of that, Paps still have their identity in terms of a relation to cards and scrolls. Wood still has its identity in terms of relation to trinkets and the utility builds. And then and then rocks still have its identity as well. Uh, rocks could also be used to up if they wanted to if they wanted to scrap runes. Rocks could then be used to like upgrade armor, things like that. Okay. Okay. Wait, Izzy. Yeah, I, I like what you're saying, right? But it doesn't matter because they're not going to do any of it. Well, no, I was saying in the, I was saying instead of just throwing their system out the window, 
they could there's a lot of just little simple yeah, tweaks we gave they could have so done many good ideas. that would have taken less time less resources like it, yeah. it, it wouldn't have been a whole <laughs> identity shift yeah you know I'm Pro i think prioritization is a problem prioritization is a huge problem i agree you bobby know, yeah i'm 100 percent sure that it was the shareholders that said this like oh that game is doing well yeah we want exactly like that just make that <laughs> I could, I, I could really definitely see that. Yeah. I could definitely see that. I'm pretty sure uh, that it's not the devs alone that took this decision. I don't you know. know. What I, you know what I think of when I think of uh, Royal Crown and Meerkat? Hmm. You know, you know, like the that little kid toy where they put like the cylinders and the triangles and, and, the, and the circles. Yes. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I see them shoving the cylinder into the triangle, into the triangle uh, slot. You know, <laughs> like just. Trying to hammer it in there, you know. Uh, that's what I. That's what I picture, though. I don't know why this popped in my brain. I just picture <laughs> Leo's standard face, just on somebody with a hammer, and it's just his straight ass face, just tink, tink, tink. This is working. It's not working. <laughs> Something needs to be done, and soon. But uh, do we have any other? Uh, Topics in chat. I know this was pretty much just a rant, but we need to rant about it because something needs to be done because the game is already dying. I'm I don't want to play. You guys don't want to play. I don't want to play a different server either. I want to play our server where I have somewhat decent ping, but I I we we just can't win right now, bro. We are still gonna be doing uh scrims here. What time is it right now? We are gonna be doing hour? scrims in an hour or so. Yeah, get your teams uh, ready. Yeah, teams ready. do not be late. You can play. The only time you can play is in an hour. Yeah, yeah. Like, do 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 not be <laughs> late, please. There's 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 no excuse. I know damn well you guys aren't playing right now. Yeah, right. Spook. Yeah, Spook. If you if you wanted me in here, if you were hoping you'd get me heated and unleashed, you should have got me um, after the when ago. when the game died the first time. You should have got me a year ago when <laughs> I actually care. Now when I wrote don't essays. Care. When he wrote now essays, I really don't great. care. No, by that sure. time, by that by that time, we stopped the podcast, though. So, I mean, I maybe. Know, I know. But, I mean, actually, at the same time, even if you did get that, I would have lost the clips. I had to get rid of all my clips and bods True. because of the DNA bullshit. So, I, I would <laughs> personally save that, though, for, uh, for an Izzy Meltdown 101. What, what do you call someone that's already bald? They're not molding anymore, right? There, there, there needs to be a word. Yeah, it's, it's been bald. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you're already bald, it, you can't say, oh, he's malding. Like, no, dude, he's already bald. So it needs it needs, an, it needs a name. I know this is off topic, but I feel like it needs a name. All right, I, I don't have shit else to fucking talk about. If anyone else on the panel wants to bring something up, you know, now's, you know, the time. I've obviously been playing SMC Super Mecha Champions. That game is fucking fun as fuck. Fuck you guys if you don't that, fucking think that so. Game that game has an average of 2k players and it's it's so good. I I that many players like I am enjoying myself on that game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might I might know a little something something about a website that's gonna drop this week. Oh okay yeah de de definitely DM me that. Yeah. yeah. Teacher range to rotate. I mean I I could I could uh, wait hold on let's touch on that for a minute. I heard you were shit at Rocket League arrange. That's what Blake told Yo. me. Yeah, the one v one me right now, right now, one v one me right now. I'm washed up. Uh, yeah, I look here. Four the, years. The the lag is is kind of insane, but at the same time, it's kind of quirky, and I like it. Um, but if we happen to get below a hundred ping, the, like these dudes better watch out on the top of the leaderboards, because. I guess one one thing I, I'd like to say, and yeah. again, speaking as a player. Mm -hmm. I just don't think they were. I, I don't think it was wise to do a global release from the beginning, like last year. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I think that hurt them much more than it did any good. Um, I will agree because if you notice, like a lot of these like MMOs and like like region specific games, like they'll come out in that region, and then like however much time will pass once they work out all the kinks, and then global release or though like oh eu has it and then now na right like they kind of release it in segments and how many times have we you know vpn or got a fucking korean social security number just to play these games right like, i fucking have done that like it's 
it's not uncommon they might have had a better success at doing that but at the same time what we already talked about before korea is bleeding just as hard as we are right like they're knocked as fuck and their teammates 300 but meters in the other direction we wouldn't have known about all the bad decisions we wouldn't have known about all the lack of communication we wouldn't have known about all the crazy revamps had had it never uh, come that early and when so when they launched last year you were having like 5k concurrent it's like mm -hmm. i don't even know if shadow arena is like um you know the what is it the the battle royale uh, that was made off of black desert I don't, that, they, they hit, I don't even know if they ever hit that high of concurrence before. No. Royal what? Crown hit like over 5k con peak concurrence. Yeah, but like like the, the shadow fucking bullshit arena, it failed when it was integrated in BDO in the first place. And then they were like, you know what we're going to do off of a failed project that already was attached to the original game. We're going to separate it. We're going to change everything and then we're going to re-release it which was not the play. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking there, but it was a disaster when it was in the game and it was a disaster when they separated it. So, yep. you know, I, I feel but what I you're guess, saying now. I, I guess, what well, my point is that if they would have got, if they would have handled things, if they would have just focused inward, focused on the game, kept yeah. it in one region, and then we got those like 5K plus concurrence at a later date when the game was more solidified right. and and in a better state, then they might have had a better foundation to build off of. And yeah. if they then incorporated advertising with along with that, you mm -hmm. know, we, we could we could be looking at a whole different uh, story here. I, I, I agree. Actually, what was that, Bobby? What was that? Uh, the game was region locked, and uh, was not uh, the first players weren't even Koreans. So really? In Asia, they were like Indonesians and all those that later came into the sea server when they separated them. Ah. Um, so basically, EU and uh, NA were like the guinea pigs to test the game, and then they wanted to launch it into Korea. Oh, God. So it's the reverse. Yeah. <laughs> they the, used us. They used us. Apparently, a lot of uh, Korean companies do that, but. Um, I'm not sure when they integrated Korea. It must have been like <laughs> season two or three. That's pain. It's still <laughs> too late, too early, or whatever you may call it. Yeah. I don't know. Something needs to happen. I don't know what the fuck needs, like, something needs to be done here soon. Otherwise, we're just going to have a massive deja vu bullshit. And, but this time, however, Last time it was kind of like just up in the up in the sauce, up in the dark. We kind of were like, okay, well, do we want to pull the trigger on Royals League and Kinchin? And then we kind of just all went our several ways. But this time, if this game fucking dies, Super and I aren't going anywhere this time. Like we're actually going to continue doing Royals League shit on the frequent, right? Even if it's not RC, we'll make something happen. I'll fucking have Royals League Uno for all I give a damn. You never know. Okay, at least it's something. We're keeping this community tight this time. All right, so that, you know, that's we'll on probably me. Probably change the Discord to like a community. Yeah, Discord so we we may ditch the name if it you know it dies again or something like that, and it'll just be the Royals League Discord, right? Um, and it will go from there. But doesn't that sound fire though? Royals League Uno, like I don't even play Uno like that. But uh, y'all think I can't shoutcast Uno? You will be mistaken. I can shoutcast anything, homie. But. You know, we'll go ahead and wrap up the podcast for now. Uh, again, do not be late. Uh, 57 minutes for scrims. Get your teams together. Get in a fucking party. Discuss your little shit. We're definitely doing that. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll be shoutcasting that. Uh, Ward, I don't know if you're in the chat. If you want to shoutcast too, that's entirely up to you. You don't have to. Just don't be late. 57 minutes. I want to thank everyone on the panel. Super Future, Arrange, Iskamar, Nick, and then Volpes. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'll be clipping this out and posting it in fucking game discussion. And please don't copy paste and spam that shit. That's not. We don't want them to get annoyed and it just start. I, I want them to get annoyed. Just we can post it once and then just react hella to that one. Put up, put up. I got a cat. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Show off the cat. Show off the cat and then we'll make sure that's in the that's in the vod so they don't get too pissed like they've just been talking shit for two hours oh a cat right so mm. yo can you get him to do the high five thing 
Oh my god, he's so fat. That's a thick boy. That's crazy. I love cats. Can you can you get him to do the high five thing? Hold on, hold on. Oh shit, y'all y'all about to blow, get 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 your mind blown. Any high five? Oh. Oh, is he gonna oh. do it? Oh. 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 Any. He's he's being difficult. He's being difficult. He wants... He's lazy right now. Yeah. He wants to be pet. Oh. That's, that's what that is. Oh. <laughs> oh, he thinks you got something, bro. No. Oh. Oh, he's just chilling. This is why I like cats. You oh. know, sometimes they'll fucking fuck with you, and then other times they're just oh. like, nah, it ain't happening right now. Oh. Oh, there you go. He got it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. All right. I feel better. Again, thank you for uh, joining me, gentlemen, for the podcast. Don't no. be late. Get your teams together. I guess I'm gonna fucking play some Rocket League in the meantime. Just kill some time. Take my mind off of this fucking it's situation. <laughs> fucking Twitch TV yeah. black kicker. Yeah, I'll I'll catch y'all in like fifty five minutes. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you again, gentlemen. I'm gonna jump in the regular Discord for the call. All right. All right, brothers. Guys, how's it going? Thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate all of you. Um, wow. Mm. Uh, we are going to take a quick break, and we will be right back with Rose League stuff. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Catch you guys soon.